Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful Tuesday here it sure is. in Woodland Hills, California. I'm talking to Sensei Benny, and he doesn't even know what we're going to talk about. I'm just going to surprise him. Um, so I had a crazy idea five years ago when I uh, fought for, for when I turned 50, and I wanted to f spar 50 people. And a Sensei was gracious enough to be the, the ref and kind of help me guide through it. And only recently, I wanted to look back at the videotape of this stuff that I did. Um, but I wanna um, make sure admit that, that I've never fought in the ring, I have no experience in full contact or anything like that. That was my first time being in you know, sparring. And one of the things that Sensei did with me was um, I knew 50 rounds, I was gonna, I was like round 10 or 11, I was done, I was like, I'm done. And I remember Sensei um, doing something to me. He would come to me, hold my shoulders and say, uh, Sensei Fari boys, it's round one. And I'm not, no, so say it's round 12. He goes, no, it's round one for them. And you need to understand, we're gonna start again. And by the 12 and the 13 and the 14 and the 15, something happened. I'm like, no, there's no way. And he kept saying, it's round one. We're gonna start all over again. And I'm thinking, no, Sensei, it's round 21. He goes, no, round one for them. And that means basically start fresh. Doesn't matter what, start fresh. And by the round 22, 23, I believe them. And that's the only reason uh, I don't give credit to my cardio, I don't give credit to my practice, I don't give credit to any of those except something in my mind value two things, it valued coaching. Again, I don't have any experience in the ring, so I don't know what it's like to have somebody coach you in a moment of all this stuff, so I, I admire that. But I wanted to just talk about that for a second, is, sure. is what was that like for you to be able to be in fights and I, my sparring, they weren't in fights, they were, they were, you know, but yours, you had actual full out somebody who wanted to take your head off and you went rounds and rounds and rounds. Is that the same mentality you had? You walk in, it's, I'm fresh, I'm, I'm for the next one. Is that what happened? I only teach from experience and I was passing you my experience. <laughs> yes, sir. My, my experience was to me back, you know, uh, back in the 70s, there were 15 rounds. There wasn't 12 rounds. It was 15 rounds. And so, uh, actually, I, I, didn't, I, I was able to go from bout one to bout 15 nonstop, kicking and punching, which most people get tired kicking, and just in the first round, they start getting tired. So the kicks were getting less. Now in the PKA, they made a rule that you had to kick at least seven times. Most fighters could not kick seven times per round. So they made a rule, you have to kick at least. So what you do is you, you find some of these guys, they will kick seven times, they will flip it seven times in the air, and then they will start, you know why? Because it would take too much energy to kick. To me, I, if, I, if I couldn't actually go from bow one to bow ending, kicking and punching, I was not ready for the fight. So every time that the bell rang to me, my brother said, how you feel? I said, I feel great. Because to me, the I am concept of what you tell yourself at that time, the body mind only knows what the commander is saying. Right. So if I'm saying I'm getting tired, the body mind is saying, oh, we're getting tired. And the hands get higher. So in my mind, hey, it's bow one, here we go, you know, as far as I was concerned. So each round was bow one, and when the time, eighth round came, you know, um, people were telling me, why do you keep getting stronger? I said, well, as far as I was concerned, you know, you know, you think I get stronger as I go. As far as I'm concerned, I get more excited as I go. And to me, it's the first round. It's, it's exciting as the first round is, is round 15. There was no difference. And comparing that to, the, to the, our regular lifestyle and our life, every day is a new fresh start. That's right. Every, new beginnings. Every class I teach now, I try to remember that. It's the first class. It might not be for me, but it is for that student. That's right. That's right? how not, true that is. Right. And I uh, walk in into that class thinking, this must be the, it might be the last class I ever teach. Do I want to be remembered? This way, or do I remember this way? You know, so um, uh, so th that that those words really Im 
it made a huge impact to me. And I want to thank you again. But um, what a great opportunity to be in presence of someone that you can learn life skills. And, and that's one thing about a lot of people to try to teach life skills. I don't think life skills is something you teach. Life st- skills are something you watch, you see, and you experience. And I definitely, that was one of the moments for me. Um, so thank you for your time. Uh, my pleasure.